Okay, so I mentioned uh, just a, a recent blog a couple of weeks ago when I was picking Meadows Suite. It's on my channel, but um, yeah, I mentioned Ladies' Bed Straw because in August, uh, it's second week of August, third week of August maximum, uh, is the ideal for time for picking. And um, I mentioned how aromatic the uh, the scent from this plant is. Uh, if you bring it indoors, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, room odorizer, but also it does help to um, you know uh, keep moths uh, away from your uh, clothes. So if you put a if you dry it off and put a, a small sprig inside your um, wardrobe, be careful because the uh, the seed petals will go everywhere. So if you put it in a muslin cloth or something of that nature, um, you'll find that the uh, it's a great repellent for uh, insects and moths. But for the health benefits of uh, ladies' med... Uh, let me start that again. The health benefits of ladies' bed straw are uh, quite numerous. But um, I'd say that the, on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're uh, drying off the plant and using it, uh, as I do on an annual basis, uh, they do help with um, any problems with... Uh, you know, your, like, sore throat. Um, if you've got uh, any problems in relation to, um, you know, problems with, uh, you know, clearing out the system, maybe, going for, go, you know, wanting to have a urinate, it's a diuretic. Um, it also heals uh, many skin conditions and stuff. I'm not going to go into all the details of it all because it's only a short upload. But um, it also helps with uh, any slow kind of healing um, of wounds and stuff. You know, the, the wounds are not going to... If you put uh, the plant onto a, a scratch or a cut or a blister of that or that type of thing, uh, you'll find that the, the healing process is accelerated. That's probably the best way to put it. It is a herbaceous perennial plant. It tends to grow right on the road edges. So be careful when you're uh, going to harvest this stuff. And uh, if you try and look out for the, the bonny yellow plant, um, you'll find it in, in sort of adjacent to rural car parks and stuff. But as I say, just be careful because uh, obviously there's uh, traffic contamination and perhaps there's dogs and people maybe used the side of the road for various uh, things. So... Uh, I don't advise you to eat the stuff anyway raw. Um, what I do is I dry it off, just uh, a simple, um, leave it in the hot sunshine, uh, and then perhaps maybe dry it off in the oven if necessary. So it's always best picked uh, when it's uh, a sunny day and, and as dry as possible, and that uh, cuts down the, the heating bills for, for getting it. There's um, great benefits uh, for, for lots of things. I mean, it, it's, it's certainly uh, it's good for the skin. So if you're feeling a bit vain about your uh, skin tone, uh, a little bit of uh, ladies' bed straw and a, a cup of tea or something uh, is ideal. I would use the, the other um, health benefit teas that I talk about often instead of just normal caffeine-based tea. But um, ladies' bed straw also uh, can can assist in the, um, any sort of problems with your lungs, um, your chest ailments. It's also good for a loss of appetite. So if you're feeling a bit under under the weather and you've not been able to eat, uh, this can assist as well. Um, there is also evidence again that there's. Uh, there's some uses in, in, in relation to, you know, illnesses such as, uh, you know, hysteria and uh, cancerous tumours and stuff of that nature. Um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, they're also good for, if you bathe in the ladies' bed straw, it apparently is good for uh, swollen ankles if you suffer from that problem. There's a, a whole list of... Uh, uh, ailments that are covered by this plant uh, absolutely wonderful plant but as I said already uh, I find that the plant uh, picked fresh and uh, brought in as a, as a home house odorizer is, is wonderful and once dried off uh, you can use that and uh, just do a bit of research and see what you can use it for 
Um, so let me just, um, I'll nip through and uh, I'll bring through the dried off product and let you just see what I mean. This is Lady's Bed Straw. It's, uh, it's probably not the best light we do even time, but that's uh, that's Lady's Bed Straw. It, um, it's given a sort of brown colour under the camera light, but it's actually, uh, it should be, well it is green. It's a very, a very pleasant green actually, not a fresh green, but a very olive type green. And uh, as I say, you don't need much of that, so what I have here is uh, sufficient for, certainly for a year, definitely for a year's uh, use. So hopefully that helps. I've also mentioned previously that the uh, yellow florets uh, can be used as a dye, a yellow dye. And if the plant was to be dug up for any reason, don't dig that up yourself because it's against the law. But if the plant was dug up for any purpose, um, you can gather the roots and they make a red dye. The the plant itself is um, is, is is absolutely well. It's a heaven sent plant. And I don't mean scent in the smell scent. It's sent from uh, well, it's, it's a, an angelic plant. It's not angelica, which is a different plant altogether. But what I'm trying to say is, it's a it's a god sent plant <laughs> to assist and, and heal people. And uh, if you take uh, little uh, grains of this uh, lady's bed straw in its dry format, I can assure you vitality will return to something to the norm.